better. We will do much better. <laughs> better is no good either. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most bone-chilling moments from kids' movies, excluding Disney. And soon as you're through eating, I thought we'd play a game. Warning, some spoilers will not be for the faint of heart. Number 20, The Abandoned Toys, The Polar Express. You are just like me, my friend. Aren't Christmas films supposed to be, well, Christmassy? Sure enough, this animated film about a passenger train to the North Pole is not what you'd call terribly scary. Except for that one scene where they arrive at a train car filled with abandoned toys. It's a new concept the boss came up with. Instead of being thrown away, they're collected, refurbished. One of them, an Ebenezer Scrooge puppet, screams at the boy that he's a doubter. Ebenezer Scrooge, North Pole, Santa Claus, this train, it's all a bunch of humbug! Our boy hero reacts understandably by fleeing the train car immediately. Wouldn't it be great if we had that option when we saw this scene? Why the filmmakers had to include this scene is up for interpretation, but giving us nightmare fuel is certainly the unintended consequence. You're a doubter! A doubter, you don't believe! You're a doubter! Number 19, The House is Alive, Monster House. This unappreciated horror comedy naturally has several nightmarishly horrific scenes. In this mid-aughts film, a group of kids investigate the suspicious Horace Nebercracker, only to find out that his house is sentient and devours everything that comes nearby. It turns out the house is possessed by the spirit of Horace's long-departed wife, to whom he is still emotionally attached. But if I let her go, I'll have no one. What follows is a monstrous scene in which the house literally starts to chase after Horace and the kids throughout the neighborhood, trying to devour them with its wooden teeth. Eaten alive by a house? It doesn't get much worse than this. Go on! I'll be all right! <laughs> Number 18, Large Marge, Pee-wee's Big Adventure. A movie as bizarre as Pee-wee's Big Adventure wouldn't be complete without a totally random jump scare. After hitching a ride from a truck driver, Pee-wee quickly comes to realize that there's something off about the woman behind the wheel. The suspense keeps building as Large Marge recounts the worst accident she ever saw. It all culminates with her making a petrifying face, which is guaranteed to catch you off guard. It looked like this. <laughs> to make matters even more disturbing, it's later revealed that Marge was a ghost the whole time. But that means the Large Marge I was riding with was her ghost. This sequence is like something out of the Twilight Zone, but still maintains the wacky spirit of Pee Wee Herman. Have a nice day! <laughs> Be sure and tell him Large Marge sent ya! <laughs> Number 17, Unicron Eats a Planet, The Transformers the Movie. Marvelous Look, It's Unicron! We're not exactly sure how this scene will sell a kid's toy, but then again, we're not marketers. We get a glimpse at just how powerful and terrifying Unicron is early on in this movie, when the sentient cyber planet swoops in and literally consumes an entire planet, inhabitants and all. What may be the most disturbing part is that we get to see all of these creatures going about their daily lives, playing, walking, drinking, before disaster strikes and they must prepare for the inevitable. <laughs> The planet crumbles as it's sucked in and ultimately chomped to smithereens by the giant beating. The lucky ones die along with their planet because the survivors are digested by Unicron. The ships! Get to the ships! It's our only chance! Number 16, The Blender's Demise, The Brave Little Toaster. There's playful whimsy in the idea of inanimate objects having human-like personalities, but The Brave Little Toaster imagines the dark side of that fantasy. If appliances can live, they can also die. And boy, do they die. Cars, flowers, and one unfortunate air conditioner take this kid's adventure to grim places, but nothing is as nightmarish as the blender's fate. There you are! After ending up in a ghastly machine shop, our heroes watch in terror as the kitchen accessory has its motor removed. Since the part functions like a vital organ, its extraction means curtains for the poor blender. <laughs> We mostly see this anesthesia-free surgery in silhouette, but that just makes it worse. If you avoided growing up traumatized by this animated Lovecraftian horror, count yourself lucky. You see? You never quite know what he's going to do. Number 15, Edwina's death, chicken run. Forced labor, concentration camp life, autocratic rule, and the quest for freedom away from one's oppressors. 
we are talking, of course, about a 2000s adventure comedy film for children. As if Chicken Run's premise isn't disturbing enough, our kids' selves had to contend with even more explicit horror. Oh no. <gasps> Edwin! One scene in particular, Edwina's death, stands out for its gruesomeness, doomed for the crime of not laying enough eggs. Such are the cold, uncaring gears of the capitalist, uh, farm life. Oh yeah, Babs, Edwina is going on a holiday, all right, and so are we. On holiday to recover from the trauma. We've got to get out of here. Number 14, The Giant Mouse of Minsk, An American Tale. Sure, Little Fievel and his Russian mouse family's adventures in America may make for a kid-friendly film, but like the real-life 19th-century Jewish immigrant experience, fleeing from anti-Semitism, things get dark for Fievel pretty quickly. Everyone knows it. There are no cats. After a similarly fraught scene of Fievel going overboard and separating from his family, Fievel learns about the reality of cats in America. He then helps the other mice implement their secret weapon, the Great Mouse of Minsk. <laughs> This mechanical contraption is so effectively terrifying that it chases the cats to the pier. It's a great plan. Too bad it makes for effective nightmare fuel for us. <laughs> Number 13, Spider Attack, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. No, really, why couldn't it have been Follow the Butterflies? We agree with Ron that anything to do with spiders is a bad idea and a terrifying prospect. But that is what he and Harry had to do to find out whether Hagrid really opened the Chamber of Secrets via his pet, the gigantic spider Aragog. You're Aragog, aren't you? Yes. Hagrid has never sent men into a hollow before. Aragog clarifies that not only were he and Hagrid perfectly innocent, but that the real monster was their ancient enemy, the Basilisk. He then allows his spider family to eat Harry and Ron in an intense scene that has Ron in a Harry chokehold. Glad we're out of there. As if that weren't enough, we also got the gruesome reveal of Voldemort on the back of Quirrell's head back in the first Potter outing. Thanks, film. We hate it. Harry Potter, we meet again. Number 12, Toxic Love, Ferngully, The Last Rainforest. A positive environmental message, a baddie bad voice by Robin Williams, pretty fairies, surely nothing about this film would be even remotely scary. Never mind, there's the villain Hexus destroying the forest by poisoning the trees and rivers with his disgusting toxic sludge. Oh. <laughs> That's rather nice. While Tim Curry's sultry blues vocals may give a very different impression now, the child in us definitely writhed in nothing less than discomfort at the lurid imagery involved. Ooh, you love my oh. <laughs> toxic love. This toxic love arouses some healthy disgust, which is of course the point. Good job, movie. Maybe a little too good. Tone it down next time. Ooh, you love my oh. toxic love. Number 11, The Skeksis Emperor's Death, The Dark Crystal. The age of ugly, grungy effects was definitely the 80s, and no kid's film is more emblematic of this than Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal. This simple quest movie to overthrow the evil rulers of Thra, the Skeksis, naturally goes into some squeamish territory. One scene in particular is the Skeksis Emperor's death. He's not dead yet. The Emperor is so old, he's barely a skeleton on his deathbed, surrounded by his tar-feathered, beaked race. But then, he suddenly seizes his scepter, and with a hoarse and high-pitched rattle and bug-eyed look, finally gives up the ghost. <laughs> He then disintegrates into powdery dust, and that is the moment when our parents said, that's enough now. And we didn't argue. Which one of us will be the new emperor? Number 10, Swamp of Sadness, The Never-Ending Story. Some scary scenes are not so much about monstrosities or villainy, but about a deeper, more primitive horror. Everyone knew that whoever let the sadness overtake him would sink into the swamp. Atreus' journey through the land of Fantasia to save the world from the nothing. There are many scary and creepy encounters and moments along the way, including the yellow-eyed wolf creature Gamork, sent to kill Atreus. But nothing is more horrific than Atreyu losing his beloved horse, Artax, in the swamps of sadness. Artax, you're sinking! Come on, turn around! 
with the slowness of the mud swallowing up the horse, and Atreyu's increasingly desperate attempts to pull his horse out of the muck, is an existential horror all of its own. Thanks for the future therapy sessions, movie. I won't give up! Don't quit! Number 9. The Tunnel of Doom, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory This light-hearted classic suddenly throws a piece of dark chocolate into the mix, as Willy Wonka's guests hop aboard his extravagant boat. Hang on, where are we going? I don't know, but I don't like to look at that tunnel up there. Hey, Wonka, I want off! Although it appears to be smooth sailing at first, the pleasure cruise becomes the descent into madness once the passengers enter a tunnel. This scene not only throws every screwed up image imaginable at us, Wonka also recites completely nutty poetry. There's no earthly way of knowing <laughs> He's singing. which direction we are going. Once Wonka starts screaming at the top of his lungs, we have expect him to murder everyone on board. And they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing! The trippy boat ride comes to an abrupt halt, though, making the audience feel as if they've awoken from a nightmare. Stop the boat! We're there. Number 8. The Great Owl, The Secret of Nim. Come inside or go away. Animator Don Bluth's first feature-length directorial outing has no shortage of creepy moments. Ironically, the scariest character in the film isn't one of the bad guys, but a creature that actually aids our protagonist. As Mrs. Brisby enters a lair littered with bones and cobwebs, she's practically devoured by a dastardly spider. Although the Great Owl steps in and saves her, he's just as intimidating. With a ghastly design and thunderous voice, it's clear that this predator could crush Mrs. Brisby like a bug. Why have you come? The courageous little mouse doesn't back down, however, and the Great Owl sends her on the right path, albeit a bit shaken up. Just like the rest of us! There is a way. Go. To the rats. But I don't know any rats. Number seven, the witch conference. The witches. You may remove your shoes. <sighs> From Roald Dahl's imagination and the Jim Henson Company's technical wizardry, the witches pulls no punches when it comes to scaring the bejesus out of kitties. While Angelica Houston's Grand High Witch is pretty threatening in her human disguise, her true form is flat out terrifying. Along with her fellow witches, Miss Ernst peels off her mask to expose a balding head, bulging eyes, and a beak-like nose. And this witch is as wicked as she looks, disintegrating those who are insubordinate and turning children into mice. <laughs> After watching this scene, you can bet every kid in the audience will be forever weary of witches and strangers. I demand maximum results! Number 6. The Child Catcher Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Here we are, children. Come and get your lollipops. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is a magical car that brings happiness to the Potts family. It also gets them into trouble when the tyrannical Baron Bomber steals the impressive ride for himself. The family travels to his home of Bulgaria in order to retrieve the car and finds that all of the children there have been imprisoned due to the Baroness's hatred for them. It's the Baroness. She hates children. Who could hate children? As you might expect, Jeremy and Jemima Potts find themselves face to face with the child catcher before long, and he's as creepy as his name suggests. Cherry pies, cream puffs, ice cream, treacle tart. He uses the classic child kidnapper line, offering his prey something sweet if they come with him. Of course, they do, and are trapped by the child catcher. Go inside my little ears! <laughs> Number 5. E.T. Dying. E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Perhaps Steven Spielberg's most poignant film, and definitely one of the greatest science fiction films of all time, E.T. gave us both thrills and chills. <laughs> the beautiful bond that forms between Elliot and his alien friend may be the special magic of friendship, but it also generates some high drama and, yes, horror. We don't mean to be rude or anything, but let's be honest, E.T. is an ugly and frightening alien as it is. Look what I say, <laughs> Seeing him pale and skeletal, found in a river, and treated by humans for shock compressions is another horror entirely. Gertie's face while the doctor shock E.T. says it all. Why, Spielberg? <laughs> Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Number four, the other mother, Coraline. Mom, what are you doing here in the middle of the night? 
You're just in time for supper, dear. In an age where most family films play it safe with bright images and cute characters, Coraline is never afraid to embrace everything gothic and weird. I'm your other mother, silly. Now go tell your other father that supper's ready. While Coraline's other parents seem loving and nurturing at first glance, something foreboding awaits behind their button eyes. Once the other mother reveals her true colors, Coraline must fight to save her real parents. Now, you're going to stay here forever. Mommy Dearest only becomes more sinister as the plot progresses, leading to a heart-pounding climax in which Coraline gets caught in her web. You will never look at needles in the same way again. Where are you? You selfish brat! Number 3. The Flying Monkeys the Wizard of Oz. There are few films that evoke such visceral feelings as The Wizard of Oz. Even adults have to stifle the chills and sense of horror the film conveys so well. And few things are as vividly and ironically scary as the Wicked Witch of the West and her flying monkeys. I want those most of all! Now fly! Fly! The witch's obsession with the ruby slippers and the iconic flight of the monkey army out to capture Dorothy is simply unforgettable. <laughs> The Fly My Pretties alone has been referenced and parodied in many different media and is instantly recognizable. And all this in a kid's fantasy film. Then they took my chest out and they threw it over there. Well, and that's you all over. Number two, All Dogs Go to Hell, All Dogs Go to Heaven. Charlie, you can never come back. Making yet another appearance on this list, Don Bluth literally drags us to hell in this devilish sequence. After Charlie the German Shepherd rejects heaven and returns to Earth, he begins to fear where his soul will end up. During a nightmare, Charlie spirals down into an underworld complete with fire, demons, and an actual hellhound. <laughs> you wouldn't think an animated G-rated film would get too graphic with its depiction of the Inferno. Yet, this scene's horrific imagery truly makes the audience feel like they've been sentenced to eternal damnation. Let's just hope that all dogs really do go to heaven. Charlie, 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 wake up! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Buried Underground – Watership Down Holly, it's me, Bigwig! Any scene from this animated adaptation of Richard Adams' novel could have taken our number one spot. With adorable bunnies suffering gritty, bloody deaths left and right, it's actually incredible that Watership Down was rated PG. Of course, the rating system was very different back in 1978. Perhaps the most shocking moment in the film is when the wounded Holly recounts being buried alive with his herd. The heir to the bad runs blocked with dead bodies. He couldn't get out. The masterful animation captures all the desperation, claustrophobia, and sheer horror of being confined to a small area. It feels more like something out of a war picture than a family film, scarring everybody in the theater for life. We thought cartoons were supposed to be fun! Men have always hated us. No. They just destroyed the Warren because we were in their way. Which other kids' movie moments do you feel should be responsible for your therapy bills? Let us know in the comments down below. Follow the spiders! Follow the spiders! If Hagrid ever gets out of Azkaban, I'll kill him! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.